outfit for the post-regional redemption competition. Walden and Jim, can you start to tell us about CrossFit and just how it all came about? Yeah, I mean, we're just one of the affiliates in CrossFit and it started in Santa Cruz. Uh, Greg Glassman founded it and his goal was to help the local police and fire folks who were getting hurt all the time, who was approached by them. So we designed a program that gave them a, basically an easier way to train their folks so they could deal with everyday life. That's CrossFit at its simplest form. Yeah, well, there you go. That's a great reason, obviously. So can you tell me a little about about what you do and how you kind of got involved with CrossFit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my son, I had recovered from open heart surgery and I was sitting on the couch and said, Dad, you got to come and work out. And I was a little scared at first and went to a box. I could barely do 20 air squats and 10 push-ups. And now I'm a full-fledged RXer in CrossFit 18 months later. So going from open heart surgery to this, what was that transition like for you? Uh, a lot of doubt. You know, you get scared. So every time your heart beats fast, you think something's going to go wrong. And then you figure out your body's pretty damn resilient and you learn how to push yourself and adapt a little faster. Well, it's been an amazing event so far. The finals are about to start. This is first one? This is my first one going to. It's absolutely amazing. It's awesome. We actually got to ask some of the other athletes that are competing today. They've been having a great time. But we actually got to ask them what their motivation was in doing CrossFit also. I'm here with Danny Nguyen. Danny, how long have you been doing CrossFit? A year and five months. A year and five months. So what was your motivation to get started in the first place? Uh, gym was, I was a gym rat and it was getting super boring. Like no, um, workouts starting to become the same. Mondays, chest, <laughs> Tuesdays, arms, super boring. And uh, one of my friends ended up um, uh, joining CrossFit and okay. he got great results. Uh, made him feel like he could compete again. So, same thing for me. What was your main objective when you started CrossFit? Uh, well, when I started CrossFit, my main objective was fitness, which that's what defines uh, CrossFit, it's the sport of fitness. So my main goal was to get back in shape. Um, I started about 60 pounds heavier than I am today, and uh, CrossFit's been basically a lifesaver for me. I'm here with Melanie Collins of Morgan Hill CrossFit. This is your home gym. How does it feel competing today? It's exciting. This is our first big competition here. We've had little things like at Christmas time, but it's exciting. We've had a great turnout. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of energy. I've been doing CrossFit for close to three years now. Uh, since I started, I loved it, never looked back. Uh, it's a really good, it keeps me going um, for the profession I'm wanting to do. Got to be fit, got to be ready for anything. So awesome. CrossFit's made me ready. So now you just have to tell me, what are you going for with your career? Uh, police officer. The Open this year was my first year competing. Um, so just trying to get to the next level, hopefully get to regionals next year, compete as a master the following year. So you kind of just took my next question. So what's your ultimate goal with doing CrossFit? Games 2014. I'm here with Nicole, and now Nicole, you can tell, she's got her glow going on. She just finished doing her competition. Now tell me, how long have you been doing CrossFit? Um, probably about four years. Um, I found it after playing college sports and I needed something that kept me going, team environment, and uh, saw it through a friend and just fell in love with it. So, What would be your advice with anybody who wants to start CrossFit? Everyone gets really afraid of it just because they always see us lifting such heavy weight, but the great thing about CrossFit is, is that you can scale everything to whatever you're able to do regardless of if you have a prior injury or not, but I think just the most fun is just getting to meet new friends, so that's some good motivation. What advice would you give to anybody who would want to start CrossFit or begin this life-changing experience? So I would just tell them, um, don't think you have to get in shape first. This is the best way to um, this is the best way to get in shape, whether it's sport conditioning or just having a baby or trying to get into shape for anything. Just get started. Okay. Yeah. And then how do you guys feel on competition days? What's your type of day looking like? Uh, try to get good rest, drink lots of water, and then celebrate. All right. Well, Thank there you have it. Thank, Thank you very you. much, and good luck today. Thanks. Thanks. Today, 
we're doing a nice little throwdown for the recovery wide redemption. Uh, the recovery from the regionals is the regional competition that we have every year. Uh, there's 13 regions and three of the top athletes and uh, men and women and three of the top teams go to the games in Carson, California, which we do every year in July. And it started in 2007 was the first games. to do because every woman wants to have a toned sexy body it also builds good self-confidence it builds a uh, good body awareness um, and it's just a fun activity to do What's up? <laughs> Athletes, a lot of good or not games athletes, but uh, like regional athletes from around. That's Rob. Um, I don't know, it just feels good to compete in front of like everybody from your gym. It's fun, they all cheer you on. Well, we felt kind of like a, a ragtag team just kind of thrown together, and there are some other really organized teams with regional athletes. And I'd be so stoked if we came as like the underdogs and got first. With a time of five minutes and 46 seconds, holy. We have first place, the screaming go
back here at the Morgan Hill CrossFit and I'm again with Jim Weldon. Jim, how would you say that today went? You know, overall, I mean, you got to ask the athletes how it went because they're the ones that we're really doing this for, not for ourselves. Um, but as far as all the feedback I've heard, it's been great and the workout's been incredibly difficult, which is hard to do to CrossFitters. Um, great turnout. I mean, we had almost 500 people here come to the event. Super hot and we still had a great turnout. So overall, hopefully all of our sponsors loved it and hopefully the athletes really enjoyed it. Well, you have been running around, taking care of everything. I know that I respect what you're doing. I know all the athletes do as well. I think that you should give yourself a pat on the back because it's been a tremendous event and all the athletes have been having so much fun. You can just see, you don't get to see it as much because you've been doing everything, but we get to see it. Now, we, we, got a good, we got a good team behind the scenes and as the event director, you really don't enjoy it until it's over. And now that it's over, we definitely, definitely enjoyed myself. Well, you were running around the whole time, but all the athletes were talking the entire time about how much fun that they were having and just the friendly competition and that friendly atmosphere that was created. So you should be very proud of that. Um, tremendous event. Like I said, my first one, I'm definitely going to come back tomorrow. I'm actually going to do a CrossFit class myself. So awesome. why not? You guys motivated me. We're glad so. we did. It was nice meeting you. Yes, glad you guys came out. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much again for your time. I really appreciate it. That will do it for us here this week. We will see you next week.